Hey everybody. Recently a customer brought in a Gateway E-Series Slim desktop in to be repaired and it had a burn up power supply in it. And the man stated that he saw smoke coming from the back of the computer before he brought it in. Turns out it's this power supply right here. The rest of the PC is fine. I took those parts out of that slim desktop and put them into a regular sized tower with a good power supply and everything's working great now. So, let's have a look at this power supply. This is a Newton Power model MPS 180 EBA. I'm going to get a closer look at that spec label. Pause view specs. So, <clears throat> it looks like this thing was manufactured on the 52nd week of 2003 according to this date code. I'm not exactly sure. So according to this date code, seen there's 52 weeks in a year, this thing must have been manufactured at the very end of 03. And according to the rest of the components in that computer, it seems pretty much right. Let's look at our outputs on the rails. 7 amps on the 5 volt rail. 11 and a half amps on the 12 volt rail, so it's actually got a little bit more power on the 12 volt rail and it does a 5. This if I stand by is 1.7, that's a little bit lower than what you typically find in a ATX power supply, at least a newer one. The very old ones would have very small amounts on the 5 volt standby, but the usual standard, you know, let's say a 200 to 2 video watt power supply, if not higher, would be 2 amps, but according that this is actually a 180 watt power supply. So our plus 3.3 volt is 7 amps, minus 12 volt is 0 0.8 amps. You look at these small numbers and you can you can kind of see why this thing failed. I mean, it lasts a long time. I mean, almost eight years of service, and, it, and I mean, that's not bad, considering it's pretty much underpowered. It was powering a 3 gigahertz Pentium 4 system with 2 gigs of DDR, and it actually had 4 gigs at one time, but it has 2 now. And um, it actually lasted that long. So something actually burnt up in this thing pretty good because you can actually smell it. it. Doesn't smell very good at all. So we're going to go ahead and pop the cover off and have a look inside. Okay, and got the cover off and got a lot of dust out of this thing. It was real filthy. But funny to note, I can't really seem to find any major source of failure in this thing. Everything looks good. All the capacitors look good. They're no bulging caps in this thing, no uh, real obvious burn marks on the PCB or anything. But there was one, there was actually two things I noticed that were a bit unusual for this, for a power supply. If you have a look here, we have two components that are missing a heat sink. These are probably um, rectifier, rectifiers right here, these two. There's no heat sink installed there. And turn this thing back around again. Let me show you the next thing I saw. Get my flashlight so I can see better. So anyways, there's those components I first mentioned about. No heat sink on them. And have a look at this coil. Notice how dark the windings are on it compared to, let's say, that one. I have seen the coils burn up before in it. Every once in a while it'll actually occur, but to be honest with you, those windings on that small coil do look very dark. It's just the way the light's hitting it makes it look different in the video. Let's see. Now you can see it. Just have a look at it from this angle. The windings do look pretty dark on that thing. So that's possibly what may have smoked in this thing because the user did report smoke coming out of this power supply from something in this unit so we know that something did smoke in this in this power supply and it's probably that coil that's what I would assume anyway so anyways um usually when it comes to Newton power supplies they're built 
pretty well. And I would say for a 180 watt unit, this is pretty good. Considering it is an assistant that really could use a 250 watt power supply. But, um, everything looks pretty good. I mean, the build quality is decent. I mean, the capacitors and other capacitors are bulging. And it's a mix of Rubicon, Nichicon, and Elcon. Or L-Tech, excuse me, L-Tech, I'm sorry. It's Rubicon, Nichicon, and l -Tex. That's usually what you'll find in Newton and Delta power supplies. And they even went as far as to put a heat sink on the bridge rectifier, as you can see here. And actually attach the heat sink to it. And this is only a 180 watt power supply, and they managed to do that. And I see many higher end power supplies out there that don't have heat sinks on their bridge rectifiers. So anyways, that's a quick little look at this thing. So like I say, I assume that actually what smoked in this thing was this little big coil down here. Show it to you one more time if you can see. I think that's what smoked because you can tell by how dark the windings are on it that it got hot. And here is a picture of what one looks like when it actually burns up and it's actually one kind of like that. Here's the fan out of this power supply. It's a Delta. Just another sign that Newton and Delta are pretty much the same company. And also I found a Tacon capacitor in this unit too. And it's located right there. Okay. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask.